now we're going to have some remarks by several people involved in our Memorial Day program. First is Jim Farmer, our commander elect here at 9372. Jim. First off, I'd like to welcome everybody coming out on such a rather rotten day, I guess. Uh, I'd especially like to welcome our uh, honored guests and our uh, Gold Star families for uh, coming along here today. Um, I had a long speech, but with the weather, it, my speech changed as fast as the raindrops came down, so I'm cutting it very short. Uh, we have a lot going on here today, so um, there again, I'll, I'll welcome everybody and thank you for coming and putting up with uh, our changing program minute by minute. Um, one thing that I would like to, to ask, uh, this is nothing to do with Memorial Day, it's to do with our post here at uh, 9362. Uh, we have signed ourselves up for an upgrade con uh, competition on WLX. If you would go on your email and, uh, and go on the website for WLX and sign up and vote for us, we would really appreciate it. Uh, this is something that uh, is, there's several VFW posts in this competition and we would certainly could use an upgrade around here and would appreciate your help. So have a great day and thank you for coming. Okay, now uh, Jim's counterpart at uh, American Legion Post 333, Commander Dennis Norton. Look at here, Jeff. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to shorten it up. Sergeant William Stacy, 23 year old from Redding, California. He epitomized what it means to be a non commissioned officer in the United States Marine Corps. He was admired by his fellow soldiers and described by a journalist embedded with his unit in Afghanistan as having a bright and concentrated flame within him that could cut through stone. On January 23rd, 2012, already on his fourth deployment in Afghanistan, he was killed by an IDE blast while on patrol. Like many going into combat, Sergeant Stacy wrote a letter that would be read upon his death. Sergeant Stacy wrote, My death did not change the world. It may be tough for you to justify its meaning at all. But there is a greater meaning to it. Perhaps I did not change the world. Perhaps there will be a child who will live because men left the security they enjoyed in their home country to come to his. And this child will learn in the new schools that have been built. He will walk the streets not worried about whether or not his leaders, henchmen, are going to come and kidnap him. He will grow into a fine man who will pursue every opportunity his heart could desire. We will have the gift of freedom, which I have enjoyed so long. If my life buys the safety of a child who will one day change the world, then I know that it was all worth it. Sacrifice made by Sergeant Stacy and countless other American heroes has indeed changed the world. Sixty years ago, America was engaged in a horrific war in the Korean Peninsula. Many died there so that today many can live. Herbert Miller, 87 years old now, survived combat of World War II, but would not be alive today if it were not for the actions of Captain Emil Capon, who encountered Miller as he lay in a frozen and blood-drenched ditch in North Korea. All able-bodied men in her unit were ordered to evacuate when it was clear that the enemy was quickly surrounding them, but Captain Capon elected to stay behind provide medical aid and comfort to his comrades. Suffering from a grenade wound and a broken ankle, and now captured by the Chinese, Miller was lifted and carried by Father Capon. That's right, Father Capon, who was a Catholic chaplain, who selflessly put the needs of his fellow soldiers ahead of his own. Many other tales of Capon's heroics were later recalled by survivors of the North Korean prison camp, the POW is called the Death House. After coming down with pneumonia and dysentery, Capon died at the camp hospital. For his heroism, he was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor just last month. 
During that presentation, President Obama said that Father Capone was an American soldier who didn't fire a gun, but who carried the mightiest weapon of all, the love for his brothers, so powerful that he was willing to die that they might live. Some of you here may not be aware that chaplains do not carry weapons, even on the field of battle. We think, that, we think of the families who have sacrificed so much long after the guns have been silenced, and the bombs have exploded. The children of our fallen warriors will still be missing a parent. Spouses will be without their life partners. Parents will continue to grieve for their heroic sons and daughters that left them way too early. The empty seats at the dinner table, the smaller gatherings at Thanksgiving, and the voice of the loved one heard only as a distant memory in one's mind are constant reminders that they are gone. We owe it to the heroes that died and the loved ones left behind to make sure that their sacrifices are remembered and that their service to this nation always be honored. Sergeant Stacy believed his sacrifice was worth it. It's up to all of us to prove him right.